children? Hmm. Where there's so much racket, there must be something out of kilt. I think between the women's of the North and the Negroes of the South, all thinking about rights, you white men are going to be in a fix pretty soon. <laughs> what was all this talking about? Hmm? This man over there, yes, yes, you, he said, Women's have to be helped in the carriages, lifted over ditches, and to have the best place everywhere. Well, nobody ever helped me in no carriage, <laughs> over no mud puddles, or gives me any best place in ain't our woman. Hmm? Look at me. Look at my arms. Hmm? I done plowed and planted and gathered bonds and no man could hit me and ain't our woman hmm? then they talk about this thing in the head but I'm not going there yet because I want to tell you that I done burnt 13 children and saw the most all sold out to slavery and when I cried out with a mother's beef none but Jesus heard me and ain't that a woman Then they, they talks about this thing in the head. What's that they call it? They call it inlet. Inlet. That's it, sugar. <laughs> What's that got to do with women's rights or Negro's rights? If my cup don't hold but a pint and yawn hold a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little, uh, uh, my little uh, half a pint? Huh? Then... <laughs> Um, this man in the black, yes, yes, you, 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 yes, he says, <laughs> women's can't have as much rights as men's because Christ wasn't a woman. Well, where your Christ come from? <laughs> hmm? Where your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man didn't have nothing to do with it. Now, if the first woman God ever made was able to take this world and turn it upside down, all these women's hair together ought to be able to get it back and turn it right side up again. And now they's asking to do it. You men better let them. That's all I have to say. Much obliged for your listening to me. Thank you very much.